Mr. Zuckerberg. Uh, for all of the benefits that Facebook has provided in building communities and connecting families, uh, I think a devil's bargain has been struck. And uh, in the end, Americans do not like to be manipulated. They do not like to be spied on. We don't like it when someone is outside of our home watching. We don't like it when someone is following us around the neighborhood or even worse, following our kids or stalking our children. Uh, Facebook now has evolved to a place where you are tracking everyone. Uh, you are collecting data on just about everybody. Uh, yes, we understand the Facebook users that, that, that uh, proactively sign in are in part of that, that platform, but you're following Facebook users even after they log off of that platform and application, and you are collecting personal information on people who do not even have Facebook accounts. Isn't that right? Congresswoman, I believe that Yes we, or no? Uh, Congresswoman, I, I'm not sure. That, I don't think that that's what we're tracking. No, uh, you're collecting. Uh, you have already acknowledged that you are doing that for security purposes and commercial purposes. So you are, you're collecting data outside of Facebook. When someone goes to a website and it has the Facebook uh, like or share, that data is being collected by Facebook, correct? Uh, Congresswoman, yes or no? That's right. That we that we understand in order to show which of your friends. Yeah. So for people that like don't even pay. have Facebook, I don't think that the average American really understands that today. Something that fundamental, and that you're tracking tracking everyone's online activities, uh, their searches. You can track what people buy, correct? Uh, Congressman. A congresswoman, you're collecting I, that data. What people purchase I, online? I, yes I or actually, no? if they share it with us, but congresswoman, because it I, has overall, a share I, button, I, so it's 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 gathering. Facebook has the application. In fact, you've patented applications to do just that. Isn't that correct? To collect that data. Congresswoman, I don't think any of those buttons share transaction data. But broadly, but I, they, I they disagree track with you. The you want you're collecting medical data, correct? On on people that that are on the internet, whether they're Facebook users or not, right? Congresswoman, yes, we collect some data for And you're collecting, and uh, you watch where we go. Senator Durbin had a, had a funny question yesterday about where you're staying and you didn't want to share that, but you, Facebook also gathers that data about where we travel, isn't that correct? Congresswoman, everyone has control over how that works. I'm gonna get to that, but yes, you are. Would you just acknowledge that yes, Facebook is that's the business you're in, gathering data and aggregating that data. Congresswoman, right? I disagree with that characterization. You are not, are you saying you do not gather data on, on where people travel based upon their internet and the, the ways they sign in and things like that? Congresswoman, the primary way that Facebook works is that people choose to share data. And they share primary content because way, but, but the other way people. that Facebook uh, gathers data. Did you buy data from data brokers outside of the platform, correct? Congresswoman, we just announced two weeks ago uh, that we were going to stop interacting with data brokers, and w even though that's an industry norm to make it so that the advertising can be more but relevant. But I think in the end, I think what, see, it's, it's practically impossible these days to remain untracked in America for all the benefits Facebook has brought and, and the internet. And that's not part of the bargain. Uh, and current laws have not evolved, and the Congress has not adopted uh, laws to, ad to address digital surveillance, and Congress should act. And I do not believe that the controls, the opaque agreement, uh, consent agreements, the settings are an adequate substitute for fundamental privacy protections for consumers. Now, General, some General East, time. Thank you. I yield back my time. General East, time. Let that stand. And I'd like to ask unanimous consent that I put my constituents' questions in the record. Without for... objection. Thank you. Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Guthrie, for. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Thanks for minutes. being here. Uh, when I first got into public office,